Overnight, a huge situation developed. A virtual hornet's nest for criminal hackers was taken down in a massive international operation. Did you hear about this? Once an impenetrable hotbed of cybercrime was this site called Dark Code. It now redirects to a notice from the FBI, Europol, and other agencies. What happened? Well, they went into this dark code operation. They arrested 60 people, 18 different countries, in connection with the site, which is an English-speaking site where criminals get in there. They're able to buy and sell illegal malware, all kinds of issues, you know, trade all kinds of horrifying secrets. But there you see the news conference where... They shut these bad boys down, but as soon as one closes down, another one pops up. That's why Google's investment arm just took its first plunge into what is a very hot cybersecurity sector with a $100 million investment in a company called CrowdStrike. This firm has gained a following by fighting some of the most sophisticated hacks to date. We're joined in a first on Fox Business interview by CrowdStrike CEO George Kurtz and the man who said, give him the money, Google capital partner Gene France. Gene, you on the phone? Oh, there you are. You're Good. You're in front of a camera there in Silicon Valley. Great to have you. Thank you so much for joining us. Uh, George, I will Thank start you. with you. Um, you. You've been doing this for quite some time, and you wrote this book called Hacking Exposed, the best-selling security book ever. So you know from what you talk. But what would your company have done with a dark code site? Well, you know, the dark code site is one of the, the very many dark web uh, operations that really uh, allow operators to create malware, distribute malware, mm -hmm. steal passwords, sell credit card information, and then basically deliver destruction to corporations around the globe. And what we, we really focus on is the ability to actually prevent those sort of attacks, uh, the most um, prevalent malware, sophisticated cyber attacks that are not just being picked up by traditional technologies. That's where CrowdStrike comes in. Okay, the word sophisticated. These guys are all sophisticated, but they tend to uh, have a great ability to morph into something. As soon as they're busted, something else pops up. They're like, uh, you know, Hydra is not exactly the right, I, th I think, uh, description because they really do change their genetics and their DNA very quickly. So how is it that your flagship software has got a name, correct? Talk about what yeah. it does. So Falcon Host is really a platform that's designed to uh, really recreate uh, next-gen endpoint technology and unfortunately the rest of the industry is really focused on signatures mm -hmm. so when we think about signatures we really have to uh, focus on the knowing the malware knowing the malware is actually bad our technology looks for indicators of attack these are attack patterns that don't rely on signatures therefore we can find attacks that others can't Gene, a hundred million dollars is no small chunk of change uh, this was your first foray as I understand it into cybersecurity why CrowdStrike? What was it about them that grabbed your attention? Yeah, no, that, that's exactly right. CrowdStrike is our first announced investment in, in the security space. Mm -hmm. And we were uh, particularly excited about the company's mission and uh, its ability to really help enterprises protect endpoints and their, their security perimeter in a way that's differentiated relative to most of the other companies that we see out there in the security space. Mm -hmm. And our investment really comes on the heels of a fairly extensive review leveraging what Google knows about security to really identify the most promising companies, and we think CrowdStrike is one of those. Well, uh, Google among the smartest guys in the room, no matter what you're looking at, but uh, it's a crowded space right now. Speaking of crowds, um, it is crowded. There's even an ETF now, Hack, and, and it's got some of the biggest names in there. So, Gene, what will differentiate it? How do you feel that certain clients will look at the entire field and say, we're going with CrowdStrike? Yeah, that's a, it's a great question and certainly one that we spent a lot of time thinking about. And I would point to three specific aspects of CrowdStrike that we think make it quite compelling as an investment opportunity. The first is uh, its focus on really um, being able to pool learnings from all of its different customers to be able to better serve it's existing in new customers. Mm -hmm. And so the cloud element to the architecture that CrowdStrike uses is quite unique and differentiated and provides a very significant advantage as the company begins to scale and, and or continues to scale and, and, and grow its, its footprint. Uh, very, uh, most of the other companies that serve the endpoint market really focus on, on just securing individual endpoint by endpoint yeah. as opposed to trying to leverage that across the customer base. I think the second point, um, and this is something that, that I think CrowdStrike gets less uh, recognition for, it has a, a very, very strategic and differentiated capability in threat remediation. 
Yeah. And um, this is a very, very uh, compelling complement to what the company provides in its Falcon host platform. George, what are you going to do? Um, and again, I, I not, have to ask not many companies that can do that. It's I think the only the, the last point I'd make is that it's a management team mm -hmm. that is uh, unique and differentiated and has a history of being uh, uh, very capable in this space, and we're highly confident in his ability to grow the company to a very uh, large George likes level. that you just said that. He said, <laughs> George, what are you going to do with the money? I mean, how, how do you use it appropriately? Well, we continue to build out our sales and marketing. Mm -hmm. We continue to build out our platform. There's a lot more to be built and, and new capabilities to be added. And then certainly we, we're going to expand internationally, Europe, Asia Pacific, Australia. So lots of customers want our technology. We want to be present in those local markets. Please come back again. This Absolutely. is a, an ongoing, growing story problem, but dark code shut down, and uh, you guys are on the case. Thank you so much. Thank you for having me. We're thrilled to have George Kurtz, CrowdStrike co-founder and CEO, Gene Franz, spending some money over Google Capital Partners, $100 million to CrowdStrike. Thanks to all of you.